presentation of RV Max US. I'm not sure this is a trial video. We've got a transmitter that is far from the uh, video person. Well, this is the 2004 Holiday Rambler Ambassador. Wow, it's pretty hot and nice weather out here in South Carolina. So, my name is Sachin. I'm with RVMax.us, your no overhead RV sales from warehouse where people are flying from everywhere to get a good deal on a good motorhomes. These motorhomes are not repossessed. They are all trade-ins or individually owned or well taken care of motorhomes. Simply say that the repossessed motorhomes, the definition of repossessed is not have enough payments or not have enough money to make payments. When you don't have money to make payments, you don't have money to take care of them. Simple as that. So we stick with all trading good motorhomes and we put hardwood floors in motorhomes and kind of go through it. We'll never make them a brand new, but we'll make them a nice refurbished motorhome. So this is a 2004 Holiday Rambler Ambassador. Diesel pusher. Got diesel generator, two slide outs. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna show you a little bit of outside right now. Windshields are free from any cracks. When well, any star crack I can see, really good shape. We got a 7,500 watts on and generator with about 921 hours. And we'll check the uh, exact miles, but it's right around 40 some thousand miles. So it's low mile South Carolina coach. Got a little bit of a decals cracking up because of a sun damage. That's a typical age related flaws. But overall, take a look at it. Really, really nice motorhome. No foggy windows that I can see. Tires are very new. I'll have to check the date code. They may be on the back side of it, but it's still got sticker on it. Look, you see right here, your, it's a good tires. They're, they're, they're less than a year or two old, but take a look at all my pictures. They'll have a date code, uh, unless I see some on the back. That's a fuse and all that stuff. Uh, you can put a Janturi muffler system so your exhaust can go up on top. Slide out tray, I love that. So it'll go on either side. I call that a back saver, you know? So it'll come out on the other side too. We'll see that on the other side when we get there. Lots of underbelly storage. This thing rides on a Freightliner, I mean, um, Roadmaster chassis. It's a Monaco built. Holiday Rambler and Monaco, same companies. Now they're owned by Fleetwood or Rev Group, REV Rev Group. So they're probably one of the premier brand they manufactures motorhome. Take a look at it, no rust issues, nothing. Just very nice motorhome. All right, Goodyear tires. Let's see if you can see a date code on this side. No, they are unfortunately on the other side of the wall. We've got a 50 amp power cord. That's your air condition condenser. Access to the air filter. So we've got two slides on this side. Take a look at it. All the windows on this side has awnings on top of the slide out topper. So the black part, the darker part of vinyl decals a little bit cracked up. You can re-decal them or keep it like it is. Uh, we haven't even taken a South Carolina tag off of it. Uh, it, it was recent trade, that freshly trade. They haven't even taken tag off. Uh, we'll get up top and check out the uh, roof. Take a look at it. Radiators, no damage. What we will do, we're going to run this thing through the shop and have an old, old engine oil will be changed, lube the chassis, uh, change the 
oil in the generator while we're at it and lube the chassis so it'll be all serviced when we hand you key and we'll go through the coach everything will work uh, that's the difference in some of the small dealers that compared to us we're a warehouse dealer but we take pride in in just going through the coach and again it's not going to be a new motorhome okay so please keep that in consideration we camp i camp with my wife and kids so i know how important it is when you drive it off of here you want to go camp you don't want to work on them so if you're one of those people looking for bargain deal repossess uh this is a wrong channel you may find a motorhome cheaper but you're going to end up working on it if you got time and you're a handyman uh then go for it we put brand new coach batteries the chassis batteries are very good so no problem on a on the batteries again there are some mismatched tires i see they're michelin some of them in some good year but they're good tires i mean lots of trades just can't believe i cannot see any date code they're all on the other side that's where it'd be lp tank yes it is and it's pretty large sized LP tank, 10 gallon hot water heater, works on LP and electric power. Same storage we saw on the other side, we've got a couple of a GFI 120 volt, we've got a cable connection and a phone connection for those DSL. Take a look at this, I mean, you can look under there too, I mean, it's really nice. It's got leveling system, that works. That's the slide out tray that you saw on the other side, and it'll come out on this side too. Love it. You got a fuel fill on both sides so you can go to a truck stop. By the way, he's electric awning. Uh, let me turn this off, the engine, and show you how that works. So just the push of a button, it will extend. And it's a cloth awning versus uh, vinyl. Holiday Rambler do not put vinyl awning. So uh, it's a cloth. Very well built coach. It also has an entrance awning. We'll open that up. But before we do all that, let's get up on top of the roof and show you the, the roof condition. It's a fiberglass roof. Let's check that out real quick. And we'll come back down and do the inside video and test drive. We'll finish it up here. By the way, before we go up, I'd like to mention it is a 10,000 pound towing capacity hitch. That's what comes from factory at 1,000 pound uh, tongue weight. Now, if you put a sway bar or beef it up, you can probably tow a little more, but it comes 10,000 pound standard. And that's a big, big deal compared to some other diesel pusher with the ISB. This is the ISC 8.3 liter. That's a big engine right here, 330 with a six speed Allison. All right, let's get up on top. On top of the roof, this is a fiberglass roof, standard roof that comes from a uh, Holiday Rambler. Uh, we've got two roof air conditioners. They're low profile heat pumps. We'll verify their heat pumps or not. They should be. Uh, got sim in the middle of it, so it's a two piece fiberglass roof. Uh, no worries here on top. No water leaks up under there. Uh, got a satellite dish, dome type. It may be on, uh, in motion, it may not be. You got to check that out. We don't go through that much in detail on this. Uh, we may put a little Holiday Rambler or a little tape right here. We'll take care of that. Uh, new shroud is about 150 bucks. So in my video, the purpose of this video is to show you every little stuff. So it saves me and you a time, especially a customer, if this is a coach you're looking for or not. Uh, so it, it, because we, we work by appointments only. We don't have a golf cart running around. We don't have a free pop, pop soda or nothing. If you come to look at it so hot, we'll give you water. How about that? <laughs> All right, let's get back down and finish this video. Just came off top of the roof, no issues up there. Uh, we're gonna just do a quick walkthrough again. Windshields are good. We got slides open now, okay? Uh, it's a 40 PBD, I think it's 40, 40 footer, that's what it is. It's a 40 foot model. Two slides. You see all the awnings on the windows on this side. Straight body. It came from uh, Aiken, South Carolina. That's what it was traded in at uh, a local RV dealership here in South Carolina that's how we got it all right so uh, I don't see a lot of flaws you know maybe you see the little bit of on top of the back cap uh, I think it's some kind of a you know residue or something it could buff out but it is there and it may not 
All right, black part of the decals cracked up. You can put new decal, but the bottom part looks really shiny and nice. You did see it earlier. It's got a Xanthrax inverter. All right, we've got uh, leveling jacks on the bottom. They work. So uh, electric awning, you saw it work. This is the part I am really, really excited to show you. Sometimes you got to push it in to open up. Check it out. The guy spent one day, complete whole one day to just do this, okay? And uh, it's got a step cover. It'll come out. I'll show you inside. So we've got a hardwood floors in this motorhome. Check it out. Let's come on in. You'd love this luxurious hardwood floors. All right, I will take this. Uh, it's just a little mat right here for people to wipe their feet or whatever, but it's complete hardwood floors. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to show you the step cover. Step cover even has hardwood. It used to have carpet. No more carpet. All right, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to pass in the seat. Let me go ahead and show you the recliner here. It'll come out. That's really nice to just relax back here while, co while you're being a co-pilot. It has a power seat. passenger side too. It's a, uh, take a look at it, really good shape, no, ex no wear. Wow, it's a 50 year anniversary in 2004, I guess. It was, all right, so it's a 50 year anniversary coach. Uh, just a little dust on it, but the seat is in really good shape, check it out. Uh, uh, we're gonna sit on, so we got the hardwood floors going all the way under the brake paddle, fuel paddle. Uh, it's adjustable uh, brake paddles. So I turn this ignition on. Uh, let's see, it's got a pedal adjust. Yes, it does. So it comes in and out, you know, you can, for according to the height, whoever's driving. All right, I'm gonna fire this baby up. 42,204 miles. Got telescopic and tilt wheel. Let's see. I love the air horn, check it out. Wow, it's just awesome. All right, we've got a six-speed Allison power mirrors. Uh, look at these walls under the window. Just all sturdy, no water leaks. Windows are not fogged up at all. We've got a power shades. Power shades for driver and a passenger side. That's really neat, so you don't have to reach down. All right, so. Uh, we saw the generator hours were 921 hours. Got auxiliary hookup in the... Yeah, if he can catch a radio. All right, anyways. It's... So it's got auxiliary and CD player. Oh, it's got CD in it. Okay, right now. All right, generator start and off button here. Radio, you can turn it off, turn it back on. Backup monitor. Dash air, by the way, is cold, and that is another nice plus to have in this 90 degree heat outside. So we got a dash, uh, air condition is working, 42,000 miles. Uh, nice looking dash here, windshields are not cracked. All right, we have an old TV, so you can run it with a, it does have a, some kind of a digital, oh, it's a DVD player. We don't get into that. You can do that at home on the weekend. Uh, it, it, it powers up. I mean, you can go ahead and go to H.H. Grego, Best Buy and buy one of those 32 or 40 inch TV, whatever can fit between these two doors. You can put it up here for a couple of hundred bucks. They're just very cheap. It's a controller for that in motion dish or the satellite automatic dish, all video distribution box, all that stuff. Like I said, we don't go through it. You can do that at home. I've got an RV tech. You can pay him extra. He's 75 bucks an hour third party. You hire him, he'll go through this stuff. What we do is make sure hot water heater works, plumbing works, air conditioning works, make sure it's camp ready. To watch TV, that's on your own. All right, so over here is a nice custom fit uh, bed that pop, pops open. It's got a little drawer under there. Oh, lots of gift wrappers. You can have them. <laughs> Christmas, it's coming. Nice upholstery. I mean, take a look at it. No tears or excessive wear or any rips. By the way, I'm in the coach. One thing I cannot do on the videos, 
is I cannot show you, uh, I cannot put a smell like scratch and sniff. We don't have that on internet yet. It, it's coming, I guess. There's no odor in this motorhome. So most importantly, no cigarette smoke odor, no cats or dogs, pet odor, just a neutral odor coach. And that is very, very important. Let me reiterate that. Uh, you go and look at some motorhome and you walk in and it's a smoke odor. You're not going to buy the coach. So I'm going to tell you there, there is no smoke odor here. I've got a really, really strong uh, nose and I can tell. This one also opens up in the bed and got some storage under there. So hardwood floor goes under there. Check it out. All the way. So we, we took, removed this couch and put hardwood all the way in there. Love this hardwood. I mean, it's completely entire coach has hardwood floors. Kitchen consists of dual stainless steel sink. A little water filtration system. Oh, some of the stuff that goes with the coach, whatever's in there. Lots of cabinets. So nice Corian countertops. We have a three burner gas stove located right here. And that's how it opens up. And it stays back there while you're cooking. Convection oven. Nice backsplash mirror. You can remove that and put a nice one. If you like to make a little personal touch, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and put a nice one. I've seen people do all kinds of stuff. We'll leave it like it is. All right, over here we've got extra counter space. I love it because I love cooking. So you got, you want to cut up vegetables or whatever preparation for your kitchen. You got an extra counter space, a little drawer. Oh, a bunch of stuff in there. People just traded. All right, we'll get that stuff out of there. Deep cabinet down under here. It's a 40 footer, but it's got a lots of room. Check it out. All right, this is another plus booth dinette. You don't see that in diesel pusher. Mostly you see, uh, got some storage under there uh, so when you fold down it'll become bed you don't see that in diesel pusher all right we got some Onan, Zantrax, Norcol, Cummins, Allison uh, got ambassador wiring diagram all this paperwork was just here in the cabinet I got it out so we got all this paperwork goes with a motorhome that's very very important so we got owner's manual on some paperwork all right, let's try out some of these day and night shades. All right. Uh, quality control check. It's fine. So purpose of this video, you know, it gets a little lengthy, but it, it saves you and me time. So you look at my videos and decide if you want to buy this motorhome. If not, you can keep kicking tires at the big dealerships. I tell people, go look at all the motorhomes, then look at mine. Because we're a very, very small time dealer and we, like, we intend to stay that way. All right, got a privacy curtain that goes around the coach. It's on both sides, you see it? All right, uh, sorry, I may make you dizzy. I'm going around all over. Four door refrigerator with the ice maker. Our detail guys haven't finished detailing yet, so we're going to detail it. We just had the floor put on. All right, center part of the coach, we have privacy door that opens up. and closes so it gives you privacy in the center part of the coach come on in here we've got a, lots of counter space medicine cabinet it's a 40 p d d that's a 40 papa delta delta p d d all right nice uh enclosed glass shower got a private toilet with a fan up on top and it works. Got a little bit of cabinet back in the back. A small cabinet. See, blind's a little broken there. Uh, we won't charge any extra for that. That'll be free. <laughs> you can go buy one for 10, 15 bucks. All right, so you know, we'll have some age-related flaws. Uh, if you want a perfect coach, this is not it. Because uh, if perfect coach would be just sat around, not used. And you don't want that. Uh, hot water heater access from back here when you want to winterize or whatnot have you. Uh, you can do the bypass mode and winterize it yourself. But that's an easy access. So back in the bedroom, we got another couple of privacy door that comes and close right here. So you see that. 
All right, now let's come in the, so you did see the washer dryer. Yes, you did. All right, over here, some more cabinets. So lots of storage room, okay, for those full timers. People want to go, there's your 110 uh, circuit board, 12 volt, all that stuff's here. Got a little bit of vanity uh, counter space, laundry chute, another big deep closet back here. So if you wanted a washer and dryer, I'm just imagine here, you could probably put a dryer there and a washer there if you wanted a two separate unit. Spend money, you could do anything. Another deep closet down under there. Look at it, well, hardwood floor came all the way back here. Walls are all solid, no water leaks. All right, back here, I like to tell you what they did. This is a king size bed. Only thing I could tell that they would have done, they took the two nightstands off from a both side and put king size bed. I think that's a clever idea. You could put your books up here while you're reading it, or glasses or whatever. Those are two little nightstands. They removed them and they put a big king size bed. I think that's a clever. All right, we've got some storage under there. And that's where the bedding covers are, okay. Well, that's a very nice Trump home. How about that? Wow, price just went up. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. It's a Trump king size bed. All right, uh, back here we got a little coat closet. The reason I said little is not that big, but it's big enough to hang your dresses and coats and stuff, have you? All right, I think one of the wheelies off. We'll take a look at that. We've got some uh, storage back here, some drawers. And some more cabinet spaces up on top here. On the bedroom. All right. So we're about to conclude our video on this 2004 Holiday Rambler and uh, Ambassador 40 Papa Delta Delta. That's 40 PDD. 42,000 miles. What we'll do, we'll probably get on the road in a little bit and uh, show you how it drives. It's a uh, air, air ride chassis, 330 Cummins, six speed Allison. 7500 watt watts generator got an inverter got a lot of good stuff and that just the icing on top hardwood floors no carpet so only old carpet is right here under the slide we have hardwood floors entire coach all right i'm gonna get on the road and give you my phone number but let me go ahead and give you one in the middle of the video 864-404-0054 864-404-0054 thank you let's get on the road we are on the road uh it's got the turn signal warning light on. Runs good. All right, uh, what we're gonna do on test drive, the cruise control and all that, we'll check out all that stuff out. Rides are really good. If those folks have not driven a 40 foot motorhome or you had a small class A or class C, no, no big deal they run really good all you got to do so here we are coming up to the red light we're going to turn right what we're going to do is uh pull a little forward more and then turn it's almost like you're going to the second left lane not the rightmost lane so you just got to look at your mirrors on both sides the bottom mirrors are your friends the blind spot mirrors just look at it say how far are you from curbs but other than that i mean look at here i mean we're only doing 30, 35 miles an hour in town. We're about to take interstate and uh, we're gonna get it up to the speed and see what it rides like. Okay, so uh, let's do that. Uh, by the way, exhaust brake is on and I can feel it is engaging. Uh, as soon as I put uh, brakes on is engaging. So that's the good thing. We've got a radio here we talked about, you know, uh, uh, step cover for All righty. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get on interstate here. Drives really good. The diesel engine, air ride chassis, all that combination produce super smooth ride. Uh, I need to put my seat belt on. How about that? Didn't have my seat belt. Yeah, you will get a ticket if you don't have your seatbelt on. 
All righty. Thank you. All right, I'm speakers. <laughs> My seat belt's on. Oopsie there. All right, here we are on accelerated. Uh, we're going to accelerate on this acceleration land. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. My cruise is on and I'm going to set. Let's see. Cruise is engaged, so it does work. How about that? We're taking exit already, but it was a purpose of this video to show you, look, it's, it's steering straight. I'm not fighting it, trying to keep it in line because we've got a good Michelin tire. By the way, speaking of tires, I just found out it does have 30 or 14 day coat tires. That means it was manufactured sometime middle of the 14, could have installed end of 14 or beginning of 15. So they're about two, two and a half years old tires. No worries on tires. And only Goodyear tire I found was on a, pa a driver's side rear. The rest of them are all Michelin. So tires, no worries there. Drives good, dash area is good. Cruise control works. Um, you know, I only drove like three, four miles from my storage, but it, it drives good. We drove it uh, from uh, uh, a few, another city in South Carolina. We've driven a couple hundred miles. It runs good. So uh, give me a call. I prefer text communication because it's not you, it's me. I talk a lot. So <laughs> give me a text. If you don't know how to text for those folks that are still old school and no worries, call me. Leave me a voicemail and I will get back with you. 864-404-0054. That is 864-404-0054. And I really thank you for watching my video presentation. And if you're one of those serious buyers, this is way to buy motorhome. Or at least look at it this way, okay? So look at all my pictures, look at this video, and give me a call. It will not last too long. A lot of time, if you see this video, it's a year old, or even six months old, or two, three months old, chances are pretty high. This motorhome is gone. So thank you. Have a great day. Appreciate it.